Hey guys, what's going on? It's JCW Game here. Welcome back to another video. And today, I've got another video for you on Security Breach. Now, today on, well, actually yesterday, uh, well, straight after the final trailer dropped, I'll play my reaction now. Okay, you've got Vanny. Is that literally a trailer? Oh my god. Gameplay. Yeah, it's gameplay. Oh my god, Vanessa looks so good. Vanessa looks... Press square to do this little gameplay as well. Did you just say naughty boy? You can hide inside Freddy. What the fuck? So good. What is it? What is it? Oh, Vanny looks terrifying, man. She looks so good. Oh, she unmasked herself. What? There's a few segments for you. And of course, I was reacting with Josh and one of his mates, uh, like I did last time. I reacted with his mate with the other, oh, the PlayStation 5 showcase where they showed Wolverine and Spider Man. And yeah, straight after the final trailer dropped, uh, a PlayStation blog dropped. It was published by Ray McCaffre. Am I said that completely wrong how else do you say that name anyway executive producer at Stillwell studios the headline for this is new finance freddy security breach gameplay revealed wait what not many people have seen this wait hang on let me refresh this how has no one seen this what for a start guys i just want to let you know there is more gameplay on this website so the fact that there isn't even many videos on this is insane this uh producer here basically says that Stillwell can now talk about the gameplay and he's like happy that he can now do that we haven't heard anything from Stillwell talking about the gameplay apart from i think on the nvidia live stream that one time but that was nothing uh, exciting 248 likes eight comments okay right anyway let's just dive into it so this picture right here i absolutely love it anyway spend the night in frey fazbear's mega pizza Plex out December 16th. I got a release. Oh, we actually got a release date. I love it. This is what Ray has got to say for this uh, blog here on PlayStation's uh, website, PlayStation blog website. So he starts off here saying, Hey everyone, let me just accept these cookies. I'm Ray McCaffrey, executive producer on Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. We're very excited to start sharing gameplay details from what is easily the most ambitious Five Nights at Freddy's yet. Coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 December 16th and PC. Um, now, to begin with, oh, here we go. Let me just go underneath this uh, lovely trailer link here. Security Breach is a first person survival horror game set in the Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. You play as Gregory a little boy who's trapped inside overnight. Once the surprisingly robust pizza plex lockdown procedures go into effect, you must survive while you search for a way out. Let's take a look at what you'll be ex uh, able to expect from Five Nights at Freddy's. Security breaches moment to moment gameplay. Okay, there's three different like labels he talks about here for this game. So to begin with, stealth and speed. Now we've got a bit of extra gameplay here, which wasn't seen in the trailer. I don't think there's any audio, but what's interesting about this little clip here, if we go full screen, the resolution isn't great on here on this website, but that's completely fine. I can see it's been compressed. There's a few details you can pick out here. This is something I obviously you can only see in cutscenes, Gregory's arms and body. Now in game, you, you, there's no animations like that. We can see his like body. I wish you could. I don't know if you look down if you can see his shirt or, or his body, but I know you definitely can't see your, his arms when you're open in doors and stuff as seen here now on the bottom right you can now see when you're crouched and that's very useful to know if you're crouched i mean i was gonna make like a really big thing out of that being like yeah this is a really useful this is a really cool feature but then, then again i'm pretty sure you obviously know if you're crouched then again you play as a little boy so it might not be that obvious there you go you've got that indicator there to show you when you're uh, crouched and when you're not crouched you're gonna be quite small anyway considering you're playing as, as a child now i have seen this feature in quite a lot of stealth games but i can't quite name any anyway it's pretty cool to see gregory's like um, fatigue there. Is it figure? Oh, I d I've, I've literally just changed the, the video to HD. I Okay, it was that easy. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. I saw this gear here and I thought I'd just press it. It completely just changes it to HD. That is sick. Okay, cool. Um, that looks very smooth. Now, underneath here, it says the animatronics Roxy, Chica, and Monty have been enlisted by Pizzaplex Security to hunt you. And their pursuit is a relentless one. <laughs> Strategizing. I can't even say that word very well. Strategi Strategizing. Right. How you'll get past enemies is paramount to avoid those uh, actively pursuing you, as well as more passive staff bots that will sound the alarm and call the animatronics to your location if they spot you. In the event you're detected, run to escape the immediate danger quickly, but running is limited to the amount of stamina you've got, so use it wisely. I take it just recharges with when you stand still and you're walking. The animatronics also evolve um, as the night progresses, which means you'll need to adapt if you want to survive. That's interesting, man. I, I do like it. How it, it, it definitely reminds me of Outlast, although you've got unlimited No, you don't. You don't have unlimited sprint in Outlast too. Now, you can fight in this. So if it's the Outlast Trials and Finance and Freddy's Security Breach, 
I guess it's going to be the same as Security Breach. <clears throat> There's going to be a little bit of, little bit of complaints on why, why you can fight, considering FNAF and Outlast have always been games where you can only hide. In the new Outlast game and in the new FNAF game, you can both fight. And the mechanics seem very similar, so I'm still excited for both. They're the most anticipated games I'm hyped for, like literally. They're my two like favourite horror games of all time, and they're both very similar, it seems to be. Even though Outlast went to come out this year as well, but it's, it's not. Then again, FNAF almost came out. Well, almost got delayed as well until 2022. Now, last Charles got delayed is what I'm trying to say. So next up here, an unexpected ally. Now, this is regarding... Let me just switch this to HD real quick. This is regarding um, uh, oh, uh, Glamrock Freddy and other animatronics that can help you. I guess Monty, who won't even this website. Can I not just click on... I can't even click on, on here. Anyway, we'll just go full screen real quick so I can show you guys this. HD, this is Gregory walking in the... We saw this screenshot. It's the main party room. I forgot what it is exactly called. What the hell was that across the screen? What the hell was that? Oh, is that a staff bot? He went bloody quick. But anyway, what can we actually see here? We can see a staff bot in the background. A few staff bots. A couple, sorry, staff bots. What the... <laughs> What? That's not that's not me editing, guys. That was generally just came up after. So it looks like we can see a few staff bots, but one just runs across the screen. Yeah, let me know if I've missed anything, guys. But the graphics look absolutely phenomenal. So underneath an unexpected ally, it talks about Freddy Fazbear himself. Freddy Fazbear himself is your most dependable ally. Probably the best choice for a, de a dependable ally is, is the main character. Adding as a guide and protector through the pizza plex, giving you shortcuts, insider tips, and warnings about the challenges you'll face. You can also hop inside Freddy's oversized bird birthday cake hatch, allowing you to hide and march around undetected. We saw that in the trailer. You will need to be uh, thoughtful about how and when you use Freddy because he's only got so much power and requires rec uh, frequent stops at recharge stations. We saw that in the trailer. If you didn't catch that, look at the bit when Gregory heads inside of Freddy. You'll notice that Glamrock Chica doesn't actually detect you at all because right? you're playing as Freddy technically. This is sick. Tools to survive. This last clip here, I'll show you first. There we go. This works. Uh, HD. Now if we put... Mm. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Okay, so here we can see that Gregory is hiding, hiding in some sort of like tent, I believe. Is it a tent? I can only guess that's a tent, if I'm being honest with you. And it looks like the floor is shaking. Damn. And it's Glamrock Chica. She really scares me. Like, she's a zombie. Like, I swear now. Ever since we saw that teaser of her just dead, you know, like a screenshot that we got given ages ago from Dorcas Charity's live stream. She scares me, like, especially from this trailer. Anyway, you see a staff bot going past at the start there. We see the golden statue. Yeah, there you go. I mean, interesting. It's not much to analyze, but it's. I'm, I'm glad we just got inside of, like, gameplay here. Gameplay? Insider information here. Why does it say there's only been one view? That cannot be me. There's no way no one else has seen this. By the way, I didn't find this video. Simon found it for me, so shout out to Simon, even though you have no idea who he is. Comment in the comment section, Simon. I know you're watching this video. So underneath to the tools to survive, this is really interesting, guys. This is the end of the article, by the way. The pizza plex is vast, and while that means more staff bots required for upkeep, it also means there's no shortage of hiding spots to pop into a speedy invasion. It also means a ton of security cameras that you can access on your faz watch, allowing you to plan your path. You can also knock over different objects like paint cans and toys to draw the enemy's attention. We also saw that in the trailer. Well, all of this we saw in the trailer. You will have to slip away before they get to your location. A bit like Illumix's FNAF surprise delivery. So make sure the distraction is worth the risk. You can't do that in Outlast. Some weapons can stun enemies. The Faz Cam and Files Blaster. That sounds a bit like Outlast. The Outlast Trials. Anyway. The Faz Cam acts as an intermediate stun. I don't know why I highlighted that or attempted to anyway. For the entire area in front of you. Um, staggering attackers just long enough to escape. Does every animatronic have the same aspects or some got different traits? Like Freddy, I guess obviously is friendly. Well, I guess not all the time because he had red eyes in the other trailer that we got. The other gameplay trailer, the, the previous one. Uh, the Faz Cam and Faz, uh, Faz Blaster. The Faz Cam acts as an immediate stun for the entire area in front of you. That's fascinating. Well, that's not even a full stop, it's a comma, sorry. Uh, staggering attack is just long enough to escape. There we go. Unfortunately, it has a limited number of uses before requiring recharge. Okay. The Faz Blaster has limited ammo. I don't think we saw that in the trailer, but uh, that camera that Gregory holds reminds me of Faz. Especially how Gregory's holding it in his left hand for some reason. Oh, is it because the watch is on his right? No, the watch is on his left. Do you even use Gregory's right hand or does it get chopped off or something like Ethan's in Resident Evil? But you'll need to land a direct headshot for it to work which is not so easy when an animatronic alligator has practically leaped on top of you. Wait, what? The Faz Blaster has unlimited ammo, but you'll need to land a direct headshot for it to work, which is not so easy when an animatronic alligator has practically leaped on top of you. Okay? There's so much more on top of all of this that we can't wait to share with you. You may wonder why I'm so shocked at some parts. I, did, I actually skimmed read this before. I didn't fully read it in detail, so I'm kind of reacting to this with you guys as well. But this segment here. Ooh, unique office escape games. Boss battles. More enemy types and even fully playable arcades hidden throughout the pizza plex so that confirms that arcades are playable like all of it we're looking forward to sharing all of it with you on december 16th 
thank you. So guys, that's it. There's a little bit of inside summary if you guys didn't see it before. It looks like this, um, this blog hasn't got many views. But there you go, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm bloody hyped. We've got, ex we've got exclusive gameplay only in this video until other people find out about it, of course. I haven't seen one video on it yet. And I, I could have done it. It's eight hours ago, literally. It's, it's almost 4 a.m. I should have done this ages ago. I thought I saw the first guy. There probably is other videos on this, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> Best of your research. Even I didn't do it. I got told about it. So there you go. Got sent a link. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below and watch my full trailer reaction in the description. I'm so excited for Security Breach and this is going to be absolutely insane. I also haven't uploaded my reaction to Freddy and Friends on tour episode 4. I'll do that after, even though there's no point now, but still it's a good video. So yeah, peace. <laughs> I'm so hyped, man.